When first starting my college career as a freshman, there was so much to learn. How do I sign up for classes? Where do I fit in? Who are my friends going to be? What do I want to study? What am I supposed to do each day now that I'm not an athlete? It was all very overwhelming. It took me time to find answers and many years to feel comfortable not having them. Answers. Life is a learning process. Recently, I was asked the age-old question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, let me tell you a secret. I still do not exactly know. And trust me, that is okay. For many years now, I've been serving in the role of a helper. I've grown accustomed to this role and would like to continue exploring this position for the foreseeable future. My dream is to have my own private practice as a counseling psychologist within the next 10 years. While this is no easy feat, I personally believe that I am capable of accomplishing that. A private practice counseling psychologist serves as an expert in the mental health field. These individuals spend their time developing each client's personal and interpersonal skills, especially regarding emotional, social, vocational, educational, health-related, developmental, and organizational concerns. Counseling psychologists also work with clients to improve well-being, alleviate distress and maladjustment, and resolve crises. They address issues from individual, family, group, systems, and organizational perspectives. While this would most definitely be an enjoyable and rewarding career for me, this video will analyze the career of a licensed mental health counselor. Serving as a private practice licensed mental health counselor will be a career that I could fulfill much sooner in life due to less of an educational requirement. For this reason, I view this position as an entry-level career prior to becoming a private practice counseling psychologist. Much like a counseling psychologist, licensed mental health counselors help their clients achieve mental and physical well-being through assessment and diagnosis of issues, psychotherapy, learning new skills, and other counseling techniques. While their primary responsibilities include directly counseling clients in group or individual settings, other tasks include managing paperwork that documents the assessment, diagnosis, prognosis, and continuing progress of their clients. For this reason, being a licensed mental health counselor is a multifaceted position and has its difficulties. Fortunately, this is a very rewarding career, both emotionally, mentally, and potentially financially. Individuals tend to earn between $52,694 on the lower side and $143,960 on the higher side as a private practice licensed mental health counselor in my home state, Massachusetts. Since a licensed mental health counseling position involves supporting those struggling with their mental health, one needs to be very qualified to serve in this role. The first step to fulfilling these requirements would be education. Individuals must complete a master's degree in mental health counseling or related field with a minimum of 60 semester credit hours or 80 quarter credit hours from an integrated, planned, and comprehensive program from a recognized educational institution. Within this degree, certain courses need to be taken in order to cover specific common areas regarding mental health and the responsibility of a counselor. Along with this educational requirement, individuals must demonstrate the completion of a pre-master's degree practicum that includes supervised clinical field experience and direct client contact experience. This practicum, much like education, needs to fulfill certain standards and expectations in order to be approved. On top of this, individuals then need to complete a minimum of two years of full-time or equivalent part-time post-master's degree supervised clinical field experience and direct client contact experience. Again, certain expectations and standards need to be satisfied. Once all of this is completed, then an individual may be able to apply and seek licensure, but it is not guaranteed. Clearly, to serve in this helper role, one needs to fulfill many qualifications. However, this is still much easier than obtaining licensure as a counseling psychologist. While this might be a long road, I've already started my journey. During my undergraduate experience, I majored in psychology. Not only did this expose me to various trains of thought, but it also expanded my knowledge, providing me a better understanding of the inner workings of the mind. As previously mentioned, individuals need to take graduate courses regarding specific content areas. Some of these include human growth and development, psychopathology, and counseling theories. Each of these courses I have already taken, which means much of the information will be review, rather than new, unfamiliar territory. There are also many skills that I have learned due to being a psychology major that will surely prove useful. For example, I have learned how to write an APA format, develop laboratory papers, and think critically. 
Moving forward, I will need to employ various strategies to enter this profession. To fulfill the educational requirement, I have been looking into various options for grad school. Online, hybrid, traditional, brick and mortar. Each has its own merits and comes with a different financial burden. For this reason, it is proving somewhat difficult for me to find the right option. Over the next few weeks, I plan to seek the counsel and advice of my psychology professors as well as various online resources in order to better educate myself before submitting my final applications and ultimately er enrolling into a program. While various hurdles need to be scaled before I see my first paycheck, I would like to think that my prior experiences and personality will make this career worthwhile. My experiences as a helper, whether it was as a camp counselor, tutor, teacher, or educator, have all proved truly rewarding for me. I absolutely love forming connections with other individuals and being able to serve as a positive influence. Through the role of a licensed mental health counselor, I will have the opportunity to work with individuals who are truly struggling. As someone who has spent years working on their own mental health, I can personally attest to the importance of having a support system. Knowing that others are attuned to your struggles can leave you feeling uplifted and much more confident in making progress. This is especially true when others are able to remind you of the self-growth one has experienced. Giving back and helping others understand this growth would be an amazing way to spend the rest of my life.